Hey guys, Circle, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. It's the 27th of September, and Naoto's still recovering from her dungeon. She hasn't turned up to school yet, which means we need to keep working on our social links and protect Teddy from the force of nature. That is Hanako as she stares down the hallway at him. Uh, Teddy, you're alright? It's like the unstoppable force meaning the immovable object. Uh, don't look now, but I think someone's trying to ambush me again today. It must be an assassin, sent because I know too much now that I go to school. Uh, I wouldn't call her an assassin, but she could potentially kill you. <sighs> if I live through this, I'd better stay away from school for a while. Yeah, probably just uh, stick to Juness, because who knows what Hanako's plans are for you. <laughs> now, now, come over here. There's no need to be shy. You're not getting away from me today. You know what got away from you today? My expert handling of the camera angle so we didn't have a close-up of your face again. Right, first things first, let's cash in our stickers that I've been putting off for so long. I haven't actually been putting it off, I just keep forgetting. It's the mailbox. You have sufficient number of prize stickers for redemption. You recall, you can choose either the plentiful combo or the rare combo. Both combos require three prize stickers each. Which one do you want to order? Uh, why not both? Rare combo. You decide to choose the rare combo. You can hardly wait for it to arrive. Yes, look how excited I am. <laughs> Uh, right, sorry. You're saving up your prize stickers to redeem a combo. Have I run out already? Bloody hell. Jeez. I didn't accidentally throw them all in there, did I? Hey, Yumi. Now that uh, we can advance our bond... I was about to say relationship, but that sounds like we're dating, and I've already kind of... <laughs> still trying to recover after this morning's debacle, saying that I'm six years soaked. Oh, Sukun. Oh, right, it's a practice day today. Are you going? And Yumi did yawn in my face at lunchtime, so... The least I can do is spend some time with her, I guess. Since you have Gadon, a persona of the Sun Arcana, you're gonna become closer soon. Spend the afternoon, let's do it. I see. You're working hard, huh? I mean, yeah, we're gonna be in a production. Yumi smiles weakly. I'm sorry, but you should go to practice. By yourself. I have to go somewhere. I'll drop by if I can make it. I mean, I shouldn't be ragging on her for missing practice. I've been missing practice for half the school year, so... Yes, I got me high drama club. You yeah, participated in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has increased. Yumi isn't here. You decided to stop by the hospital again. Inaba Municipal Hospital Hallway, room 404. Yumi is standing at the door. Hey, you didn't turn up to practice again. Soken, I just came from dad, that man's room. Uh, how's your mom? Mm. It was nothing. She's already out of the hospital. Yumi smiles, relieved. Good, good. I'd like to hear it. I was here anyway. I came here to pick up some medicine for mom. I just decided to stop by. So you did enter the room. He looked at me, and he smiled like he was so happy. Do you want to watch TV? If you want to read some manga, go ahead and buy some. Here's some money for ice cream. Ugh. He's so stupid. Getting all excited. Coughing. Causing trouble for the doctors. He's so stupid. That man is not my father. I keep telling myself that over and over, and yet... I can't take it anymore. Why me? Why me? Why me? Excuse me. Can you keep your voice down, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, please, uh, you know, don't wail in the corridor of the hospital. If you were a I'm fellow sorry. patient, the other patients might think, Oh my goodness, she's just gonna die or something. I'm sorry, I just lost control for a moment. Why do I have to go through all of this? Why me? Uh, ooh. Let's not say that one. <sighs> I don't want to say it's just bad luck. I just want to say you're not the... Oh, I don't know. What do I say? You're not the only one. So what if it's not just me? No one can understand what I'm going through. Yumi yells at you with tears in her eyes. Yep, yeah, well, that was to be expected. I'm not doing very well social-wise today. <laughs> oh, I have to go. I need to get this medicine to my mom. Um... I'm glad you came. Yeah, first you yawned at me, now you screamed at me. Man, I am just... I'm an outlet for emotions. It seems you were able to give Yumi some emotional support. Yeah. You feel your relationship with Yumi has deepened. Alright, well, at least I got some notes, I guess. 
Rank 6. The Yumi Ozawa Social Link has reached level 6. I'll see you at school. Alright. Bye then. You watched Yumi walk off sadly. Oh! You're home! Yeah, well, it's been a shocker of a day. But I can hang out with you this evening, so that's great news, but let me just check town. Alright, Nanako, I managed to get a uh, justice persona, so we should be able to just get that much tighter, you know? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. I've got Angel. My relationship's gonna be closer soon. Spend time with Nanako. Yeah! Okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. Alright. I'm home. Oh, good timing. Dojima, you look as tired as ever. Welcome home! Dad! Sorry. Later, Nanako. Oh, boy. Come on, man, we're a family, remember? I mean, you know, forget the fact that I haven't been doing these, uh, social links together, side by side. But, but this paper... Scheduling of parent-teacher interviews? Man. A survey, huh? Hmm. Fine. It's fine. Oh, God. Dojima, come on, please. We've it's gone fine, over this. fine, okay? You okay? You already know that when a girl says it's fine, it's n it's not. Now this is your own daughter speaking. You don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case to you, right? It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? Oh, <laughs> you're not real. Oh my, jeez, Donico is just tearing into Dojima. Holy shit, if he has a heart, it's gonna be broken right now. You're not my real dad! Nanako, no, wait, where are you going? Uh, hey. N Nanako, wait! Wait, she's she's gone out of the house? What's gotten into her? That's your freaking... <laughs> that's what you're saying? Let's go look for her. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, now's not the time to stand around asking questions. No, this isn't a bloody murder case. Dojima nods strongly. Come on, let's go. I'll go check Juness. So, you look around the shopping district. Her tiny little legs have made it that far already. I'm counting on you. Alright. Let's go, let's go. We need to find Nanako. At least it's a clear night tonight. Central shopping district. We were just spent to spend some precious time together, and now look what's happened. Nanako! You don't see Nanako. Hey! So, Yosuke, Chie, Yuhiko. I ran into Dojima-san at Juness, and he told me what happened. Sheesh. You could've just asked. We got a call from Yosuke-kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Yes, come on, please. She's my little sis. Hey, do you know what kind of places she might have gone? Uh, I would've thought it was Juness, a place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to Samigawa when her mother was still alive. And it's one of the only places I'm allowed to visit at night, so you told your friends about Samigawa. Hmm. Samigawa. Alright, so you head straight there. That's our best bet. The rest of us will split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? Alright. Shit, I got the best friends. Don't I? <laughs> Damn. So, did you find Nanako? Damn. Damn it. Where is she? There she is. Nanako! Come on. Dojima? Could you talk to her? Really? You want me to talk to her? Why don't we both go? Genius? I'm not her real father, huh? Please. So, you should go pick her up. She'll listen to you. That's not true. No, it is. You're her family. Much more than I am. But we just had the cake celebration thing! Again, I know, this is terrible on my part because I haven't been doing them side by side. As long as Donako is okay, I'm fine. Please. And he just walks off! Tochiba! Jeez. Goodness. Big pro. Let's go home. Come on, it's getting a bit chilly. Yeah. Nanako looks like she's about to cry. Aww. Come on, let's go home. You told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. He was looking for me? 
I mean, I don't have a lot of evidence right now, and it does look sus, but yes. Did Dad say anything about the river? Uh... Did he forget about Mom? Quite the opposite. He can't forget about her. He never talks about her. I want to see Mom. Nanako is struggling not to cry. Through Nanako's fierce resolve, or through Nanako's fierce resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. I know. It's hard to be a kid being raised by a single parent, and it's obviously hard for a single parent to raise a child. So I guess it's a good thing that I'm here for the year, huh? Rank 7 versus rank 9 for Dojima. The proud of great persons of the Justice Arcana has grown. Dad must have forgotten Mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. Probably threw them all away. That's kind of shitty, I have to say. No picture. I mean, I understand that it's painful and whatnot. But there comes a point where you, you shouldn't forget the love of your life. The one that... The, the mother of your child, you know? Dojima really is kind of cowardly in, in this sense. Is he going to throw me away too? Oh my god, no. He won't abandon you. I'm going home. Let's go home together. Yes, let's. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You returned home with Nanako. Ooh, what a relief. Alright, there we go. We've got some rain coming up uh, on the weekend. Funny how rain always seems to come on the Friday and Saturday and the fog comes on the Sunday. Aye. Oh, it's you. You're not busy today, are you? Hang out with me. Okay. Sure. Spend time with I. Decide later. I see. What will you do after school? Probably spend time with I. She's also got a fierce personality. And it turned out that she was actually a robot. That's important. I recommend that you memorize the context. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Did you all eat? Uh, yeah, we just had lunch time. I had a big meal, but I'm still hungry. I should have eaten an apple for dessert. No, two, no, three. While we're on the subject of apples, which part of the human body has an apple in it? Anybody know? Okay, Anamora, give me a wild guess. You might surprise yourself. Huh? I don't want to guess. Just tell us already. <laughs> hey, so do you know the answer? Uh, th throat, right? Adam's apple. Is, is that what we're talking about? I've got full knowledge, and I'm maxed out with Yosuke, so I can't go wrong. <laughs> Just this once. Throat. You give him the answer you think is correct. Good on you, Anamora. The Adam's apple, or laryngeal, laryngeal <laughs> prominence, is part of the human throat. Isn't that a funny name? The term comes from the biblical story of Adam and that he got a piece of the infamous apple stuck in his throat. I wasn't even aware that it was an apple. I thought it was an unnamed fruit, but okay. What a wimp. You couldn't even swallow the apple whole. <laughs> wow, thanks, so you were a great help. I mean, I'm just oozing knowledge. You know, what can I say? Yosuke appreciates you. I feel you've become a little closer to Yosuke, even though we can't possibly become closer. Your expression has increased. Oh, well, my expression's maxed out as well. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Nato to recover. What are we going to do for this Wednesday afternoon? Oh, Marie's available as well, but uh, I have committed to seeing I today, but we'll see Marie some other... Actually, let's see if we can actually rank her up. Oh, you're here. Marie looks depressed. I have narcissists. My relationship will deepen, oh. but I I'll wait just a little while, okay? I see. Marie looks sad. I mean, we're on rank 8 with her, right? What? No, what's happening? <gasps> I'm afraid it did not turn out as we expected. The nose doesn't always know. Dude, I was just about to make a Sith, and you give me this? I am Shiki Oji. My life's mission will be to keep you safe. Are you saying I couldn't handle a Sith? The full social link infuses Shiki Oji with power. <sighs> All right. Hello, I have decided to hang out with you, as you ordered. Oh. oh, you. What do you want? I have Andra, since I had to get it from the compendium, since Seth vanished before my eyes, thanks to Igor. <laughs> you feel your relationship with the eyes is going to be close soon. We spend the afternoon with I. Let's do it. Sure. I don't have anything better to do. I looks almost happy. Almost, but not quite. 
Okina City in front of Okina Station. He came here because I insisted. Hmm. I don't really feel like buying stuff today. Oh, wow. Jeez, you're in a mood. <laughs> what should we do instead? Uh... Let's just chill. Huh? What? You mean you don't have any kind of plan? Sounds boring. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, maybe you'll be able to make it interesting. I seems willing enough. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the notes. You know, it's pretty funny. If I didn't sign up to manage your team, you wouldn't be here with me right now. Yes, that is correct. Looking at it from your perspective, I'd say you got pretty lucky. That is debatable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do I say? I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you should be thanking me. I looks almost happy. It was your advisor who put me on your team. He said something like, I, being on a team, should teach you something about putting someone besides yourself first. I don't understand people who play sports in the slightest. For fun, for entertainment, to get fit. <laughs> but I guess it wouldn't kill me to go cheer you on every once in a while. I smiles with self-importance for some reason. <laughs> it seems she's begun to like you a little. Oh. Well, gee. I'm glad. Everyone likes me in the end. Done. Rank 3 for I Ebihara. The Ai Ebihara social link has reached level 3. Your power equipment of the Moon Arcana has grown. Hey, um, Ai-san. Um, us meeting here like this, it, it must be f fate, right? So, um, y you wanna go uh, uh, out with me sometime? Shit, dude, you got bulls. You got bulls asking I out in front of me <laughs> when I'm right there. And, uh, just the way you're stuttering means that this was not your... This is not something you're used to. Ha! Huh, are you kidding me? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Whoa. Alright. Thanks for letting him down gently. Jeez, I rejected him without a second thought. Uh... Can't you be nice? Could have talked to him. No, let's go with Can't You Be Nice. Why? There's no way I'd go out with him, so why get his hopes up? Wouldn't that be even meaner? No. Nice doesn't mean you have to lead him on and say, Yeah, okay, I'll go out with you. Nice means, Sorry, I'm not interested. Instead of saying, Sorry, have you looked in a mirror recently? Because it probably shattered. I shrugs. Ugh. I'm blushed. Oh, sorry. I'm bushed. <laughs> let's go home. She's also blushed. Goodbye. From embarrassment, because I called her out. You returned to Inuma with I and went home. You're back. I am home. Nice to see everyone's okay and well. Oh yeah, package came for you. It's on the table over there. It's the Death Scudetto <laughs> combo you purchased from the TV show. And my wasabi jelly. I'm going to put it in the fridge and see if anyone licks it. <laughs> Obtain the bonus prize sticker. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Uh, can't hang out with either of these guys. There's obviously some tension brewing. That's fine. That's okay. Anything in the fridge, though? You open the fridge, there's a canister of camera film inside. You left it alone. Yeah, can't eat that. Uh, I see your boss is back. Alright, we're gonna hit another bar. Go, 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 go! How come it's always me? There are lots of other guys at the company. Because <laughs> you don't look like you have anyone to complain to. You're always alone at work. <laughs> Quit being an asshole. I like being alone. Wow, you just called your boss an asshole. Jeez. Alright, well, boss didn't say anything, he just fell silent. Fuck! I, was, I almost had it! I almost had it! Now my plan is ruined! Damn it, Igor, you've been failing lately! How am I gonna get a freaking Neko Shogun out of Dekarabia? Oh, at long last. As long as Igor doesn't if this up, no, it's good. Thank you. Neko Shogun, Master of War, has Bufala. Amazing. There was only a couple of hiccups along the way. <laughs> All right, Margaret. Please clap for Welcome me. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you. Have you fixed your, uh, your fusion yet? Ah, a Neko Shogun with Bufala. You have successfully completed the request. <laughs> this is a rare persona. I think I could even beat my master with this. Oh, wow. Yeah, probably. He's he's not on his A-game right now. Hmm? Wait a moment. The persona's nose isn't long at all. No. 
there's no way I can win with this persona. Ah, so the strength is in how big your nose is. So if I find a Pinocchio persona, I'm going to dominate. It's not easy to surpass the master. Regardless, I appreciate you showing me this beautiful persona. One after another, you make my every wish come true. What a gentleman. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised what I can do when I'm soaked. <laughs> Margaret is smiling gently. You become a little more intimate with Margaret. All right, there we go. Maybe Margaret has to be my waifu at the end of the day. Though I'm not quite sure how that would work. I don't think it would. <laughs> the Margaret Social Link has reached level 5. Your power to of the Empress Arcana has grown. Well then, for my next request. Bring me a black frost that knows Otto Sukukaja. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I eagerly await your return. Again, I think one per episode is fine because I don't want to navigate a headache again. Okay, I don't think we're going to max out Sayoko this evening, but... We will go, because I've got nothing better to do after that debacle in the uh, Velvet Room. Our relationship won't deepen just yet. Go work the hospital. Yes, this would be maxing out if we uh, manage to uh, advance our bond again. You decide to work at the hospital. Well, our relationship's going to become closer soon, so that's great news. That means we can max her out this evening. Cause of info for today. You are waiting for Natsu to recover. Who do we hang out with this afternoon as the weekend of rain approaches? There are five people that I cannot hang out with today. My only hope is Chie. But I do know, well, I think I know, if I advance with Chie today, I have to make a decision as to whether or not I make her my wife. And honestly, I'm still... I'm still unsure what to do, guys. I don't know. I... go. Oh. Alright, I made my decision. I, after running around in circles for about 10 minutes. Yo! Sokun, what you doing? And I don't even have a freaking persona. Okay, I've got the persona. Oh my god, this is... This has been such a difficult decision. Yo! What you doing? It seems Chie isn't busy. I have slime. My relationship's gonna come closer soon. We'll spend the afternoon with Chie. Let's do it. I have to do it sometime. Then you want to train? Yeah, let's go! Chie looks happy. Central shopping district in front of Chinese diner Aya. You finished today's training and decided to stop by with Chie. What were we training? Today How to eat the mega beef bowl? Day. Just you wait! <laughs> God. I don't have any more. Oh, gosh. Don't tell me they're at it again! Alright, let's do it. Let's go! We're a team. What are you up to? Huh? Aw, oh, not her again. I like that you're so scared of Chie, you wusses. <laughs> I know how to handle this bitch. What? Fuck you. <laughs> you look like you got something planned. You're gonna have to go through me, punk. Uh, help! Hear that, Chie Chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? Yeah, what the hell? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. Uh huh. He told us all kinds of stuff. Like where you live, and about that precious Yukiko-san of yours. Wow, what a tool. Honestly. I mean, probably thought he was gonna get smashed, but still. What the heck? What the heck? Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your friends. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? I like how Chie's not backing down. It's great. Because who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. <laughs> you know that Chie is not Yukiko's only friend, right? I know Kanji, there's me, there's Yosuke, there's a big guy. Well, he's actually kind of small, but with the, with the suit on, he's kind of big. It's Teddy. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Oh, wow, these guys are actual scum. Why, you? <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Fight with Chie. Can I do that? I mean, I should let her do her thing, because she complained last time, but no. I'm not gonna let her do this by herself. Fight with Chie. Yeah, we can't let these guys get away. Oh yeah, come on, bring it, bitch. Chie's spitting mad. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? No, we do care, but uh, we also care about this little kid, so... Unfortunately for you, sir, that means you're gonna get hooked in the face. <sighs> Fine, then hit me! You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? Come on, call his bluff. I won't fight back. Be my guest. 
the face, the gut, just pick a target. As hard as you want. I find bullies are kind of like burglars, you know? They, they look for an easy target. And if they encounter any resistance whatsoever, they're just like, no, fuck it. Not worth, not worth it. Not worth the time. Let's find someone easier. Like a burglar would say, uh, would look at a house and be like, oh, there's an alarm. Not worth it. Oh, there's a guard dog. Definitely not worth it. It's all about uh, deterrence rather than actual defense, I, I feel. Oh, yes. Get him, GA. What's Freak. up? Freak. <laughs> actual loser. What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go. What, are you scared that she was going to kiss you or something? Actually has to turn away. Look at him. Keeps his hand in his pocket. Try to save face. Thank you. <sighs> I'm proud of you, Chie. Huh? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the child ran off. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. Honestly, that was some ballsy shit. And... Damn, man. Oh. Just... Utmost respect. <laughs> was that stupid of me? No. You protected that kid. Thanks. Seems Chie is embarrassed. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. That's not stupid at all. That's great. That kid? Yukiko? How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Chie is smiling gently. I feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Oh, damn. Honestly, mad respect for Chie there. The Chie Satanaka social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Chariot Arcana is growing. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. I mean, I wish I had her bulls when I was that age. Chie can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Uh-oh. Um, well, I also want to protect you. Oh, I, I see. I might be a little flaky, and maybe you don't even need protecting. Not really. Oh, man, her voice has just gone suddenly gentle. But I... I want to protect you. <laughs> I see. The mood is right. Oh, God. What do I do, guys? I don't know what to do. I, I came into this with a resolve, but now I'm, I'm, I'm wavering. What should you do? Ah, no, they're asking the question now. Ah. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes doing this, and I still... This is a hard decision. Because I really do like Chie. I really do. She's amazing. She's funny. She makes me laugh. She's strong. She's tough. Ah. But, uh, I have to say, I've been leaning towards Yukiko for the longest time because she's smart, she's also funny, she has this adorable laugh, and it's just, oh, this has been so hard <laughs> for a fictional character. You know, Chie deserves someone great, but I'm afraid it can't be me. Yep, I'm counting on you. She was holding her breath the entire 30 minutes I was trying to decide, I think. So, let's have some steak! Let's have some steak. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. Sorry, I needed, I needed to say a pun to cut the tension in the air. You're back. I am back. Now time to just edit out all that uh, footage of me just sitting here thinking. <laughs> I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today, we can max that out at the very least, so I guess we go ahead and do just that. I mean, I know it's a fictional character and a fictional relationship and everything, but, you know, I want to, I want to pick a, a good waifu, you know? And please don't hate me if you guys love Chie to death, or, or if I don't pick your favorite waifu. I mean, we'll, we'll see how we go. But yeah, which part-time job will you go to? Hospital janitor. I have Belphegor, Persona of the Devil Arcana. My relationship will deepen. I just realized I couldn't get into a relationship anyway with Sayako, so uh, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> she wasn't really on my radar anyway. Let's go. You decided to work at the hospital. I wasn't expecting her to be the sick and social link maxed out. You end up a municipal hospital hallway. You busily clean the dark silent hallways. Huh? You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. You end up a municipal hospital. Empty hospital room. 
Oh, there's a giant TV here. Is this going to be your new, like, break room or something? Since you work so hard, you have to lie on the bed. Saiko asked you to come here. I'm sorry. You're already done with work today, aren't you? Surprised it's not fully voiced, considering this is the final part of the social link. I wanted to say goodbye. Are you leaving? Goodbye. <laughs> Take care. I'm leaving this hospital today. Oh, no. You're moving on. I hope it's not because of what happened last time. Psycho looks straight into your eyes. I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death. In the end, everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Now you're leaving me. Then I remembered. I remembered that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. Psycho smiles gently. <sighs> and to think that the one who would show me this is just some kid with a rag in his hand. <laughs> I tend to go to four older rich men and I landed a child. Oh, wait, what? You were going for me? Have I been in a relationship this entire time without knowing? So... I'm going. I'm going to find that path I gave up on. I thought I couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm going to be my own guide. Thinking, walking, taking responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say that I've truly lived. Will you take this? What is it? It's not an engagement ring, is it? Saiko gave you hospital ID. Oh. I give you the person I was when I was here. I see. Thank you for this gift. Sayoko looks at you gently. You feel a strong bond between yourself and Sayoko. <laughs> Maxed out with the nurse. You love to hear it. <laughs> Maxing out with the nurse. Except she was the devil arcana. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Beelzebub, the ultimate form of the devil arcana. Alright, it's in my hands. The nurse social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the nurse social link. Your power to create personas of the devil arcana has reached its maximum. I've forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the devil's social link, you can now fuse Beelzebub, the Prince of Lies. I'm going to say this. It's as much to myself as it is to you. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. Even when she's giving me sage advice, it just sounds so seductive. So long. So long. Thank you, Sayoko. Right. Psycho left, never looking back. Damn, just like that, eh? You decided to go home. Just one day, boom. But uh, that's that's good that she found herself. She didn't wait for any you know, specific moment or anything. She was just like, nope, you know what? I'm done. Tomorrow, I'm gone. Hmm. Two social links down. Plenty to go. Classes have ended for today. You're waiting for Natsu to recover. It's cloudy. Hey, you. You've been to the hospital before, right? Tell me you've been to the Inaba Municipal Hospital. Uh, yeah, I actually work there. Uh, I don't know what my employment status is now that uh, Sayoko's gone. I might not turn up to work anymore. Even if you're perfectly healthy, it's worth checking out. It's definitely worth the trip. I want to be examined. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we can arrange that since uh, Chie almost beat your ass up. I mean, you're obviously just looking like the bully. But, uh, yeah, I can arrange for Chie, who I just friend-zoned, to take you down. Maybe you'll get examined then. Well, we got Rize and I, who we can hang out with today, but uh, I can't advance either of those relationships, so uh, we're just gonna need to write today off, and let's hang out with Rize, so we can oh, advance her next time, since she actually has abilities that we can gain each time we bond with her, right? Oh, Senpai, if you're free, let's go play. Since you have Queen Mob, Persona of the Lovers Arcana, you can become closer. My relationship is not ready to advance yet. Please spend the afternoon with Rize. Let's do it. Uh-huh. Yeah? Where shall we go? Rize looks happy. Let's not go anywhere wet. How about that? Ah, shops. Yep, I probably would have come here with I anyway. Okina Station, Croco Fur. You spend time shopping with Rize. 
You feel your relationship's gonna become closer soon. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you, Nanako. I was kind of expecting it to rain tonight, but that's okay. I can work as a janitor at the hospital. I might need to go to town, or we can hang out with Nanako. Depends on whether we can advance our relationship or not. Yeah, ask Nanako for permission and change the channel to the forecast. Oh, so never mind. Looks like rain has changed to Tuesday and Wednesday, rather than uh, this weekend. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Let's harvest our veggies, though, little sis. All right, in town we got Yumi, we've got Yukiko. Who else? And we got Yosuke, which we've already maxed out. That's fine. Um, either Yumi or Yukiko uh, would be great to hang out with this evening because we are not ready to advance our relationship with either of them. But uh, let me just check on Nanako's status first. Hey, Nanako. It's going to rain soon. The TV said so. Um... Yes? Oh, so it is going to rain this evening. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. My relationship's not ready to advance yet. Classic. Um, hmm. I might actually... I see. Sorry, Nanako. Uh, it's just that uh, during the daytime, I've only got Rize uh, that I'm ready to advance, right? So if I spend time with either Yukiko or Yumi, I should be able to advance them as well. Even though tomorrow is a Saturday, I've got no club meeting, so maybe it's best if I hang out with Yukiko. But that will mean I need to make my decision with her as well. Oh my goodness, this is just the decision where I start crossing people off the list. Dachi. Good evening. <laughs> All right. Good evening. Oh, Sokun. What a coincidence meeting you here. I'm out on an errand, but I took care of it quickly. So I was taking it easy here. Yukiko seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her. Should you spend the night with Yukiko? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spend the night on the street speaking with her. Yes, let's clarify that. <laughs> spend time with Yukiko. <laughs> okay. I wanted to chat with you too. Yukiko is smiling. Oh, jeez. I forgot to get my friggin' priestess persona. Um... That reminds me. Did you all have fun on the second day of the school trip? I apparently fell asleep pretty fast, so I don't remember anything about it. Uh, yeah. Your eyes were closed. Uh, I thought you were awake, but clearly you, you were sleepwalking and sleep-talking the entire time. Risai-chan rented that place out for us. I feel bad for wasting a great opportunity. No, you did not waste- I think you took advantage of it the bit the most. <laughs> hey, about that night, what happened? Uh, we played the King's game. Let's be honest. Huh? Huh? You played the King's game? Oh, that sounds like fun. I doubt anyone in our group would make any weird demands, so I could have played it without worrying too much. Again. It was like a see no evil from you <laughs> with your eyes closed. Yuko seems to remember nothing. That was my first time going to a club, but I really feel like I got that night out on the town experience. Yeah, that's the experience where you don't remember anything that happened. <laughs> I, I felt almost like an adult. You had fun too, didn't you? I sure did, yes. My shoulders ached though. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. You feel your relationship with Yukiko has grown stronger. Huh? Oh, I should be getting back. I didn't even notice how long we'd been talking. Oh, right, here. I want you to have this. Thank you for this seaweed cracker. I'm gonna treasure it for the rest of my life. This is a gift we received. If you don't mind, I'd like to share it with you. Oh, so you're regifting. Thank you. <laughs> well, be careful on your way home. I will. Good night. You saw you could go off to the bus stop and then went home. And I didn't bring a persona, so I'm gonna pay the price for that one. Cause the window for today, you're waiting for Nato to recover. So it did say that rain was gonna come yesterday. As we switched over to today. Interesting. Well, since it's raining, that means there's not a lot of social links out and about. And, well, it's about time I got cracking on this fox uh, quest. The final one, so let's investigate the river. I think I can go fish at the beach as well. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. Let's uh, see what we can catch with our bugs that we've caught so far. It's raining. What kind of fish would be here today? Good question. I swear I have more bugs than this, but... Well, hang on. I guess let's start with the mayo cricket. I don't think I'm going to catch a huge fish. But, fingers crossed, you never know. I know it says hold, but I've just always found it easier to tap. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this? You caught the huge fish! 
We did it! We actually did it! With your current diligence, you can make two more attempts. Continue fishing? I kind of want to re retire, to be honest, but sure, why not? Uh, let's go for the Yasa Locust. Oh yeah, who needs to read books on fishing? You caught the Inaba Trout! And an Amber Seema. Three different fish. Your diligence is at its limit. You should stop fishing and go home. Boom. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thank you. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. Your prison from Tanaka's amazing commodities has been delivered at long last. It's Chewing Soul. Obtained Chewing Soul. I don't know how they put a soul in a box, but they did. Oh, Nanako, we can hang out with you this evening, even though it's raining. Lucky we didn't do that social like the other day then, otherwise you would have run out into the rain. Oh, the old man's patrolling in the rain. He's got his umbrella and everything. My wife is in the hospital. I thought once the killer was caught, she could leave in peace. But why? I don't feel right. Why don't you be with your wife in the hospital? Why are you wandering the streets in the rain? It's like I forgot something. Maybe I'm getting old. Or maybe you're the killer. Wandering old man. I have to say, I haven't really kept an eye on you. I'm sure there's others that I haven't got my eye on, or maybe I've mentioned once in passing, only to forget about completely. In any case, we got a chance to hang out with Nanako this evening, so let's do it. It's raining. Um... Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything, my relationship's not ready to advance yet, but let's spend the yeah. evening. Yeah! Okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. We're in Spooktober in the game as well. He spent a precious moment with Nanako. I feel the relationship's gonna come closer soon. Oh, that was great. I didn't have to spend five... <laughs> Five days harvesting vegetables, or tending to the garden, I should say. Done. Next, Sunday. It's cloudy. No continuous rain, though. You have the day off from school today. All you can do now is wait for Naoto's recovery. What do you do today? It's like Naoto is still recovering, so she's like, Please, don't let it rain. Don't let the fog come in. Oh, hello. It's me, Chie. Hey, Chie. Hey, let's go out today. I would love to, considering that uh, I don't know if I've got enough notes to advance to max out our social link and to, you know, just hang out with a cool friend, but uh, I'll, I'll pass for today, I'm afraid. Aww. I see. Maybe next time. Bye! Chie hung up. Alright, that's done. You realize you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week? Maybe you should watch it. Come on, let's do this. If I could find the TV, which program would you watch? Uh, the shopping program. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Grander of your desires. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will make your satisfaction for a fair market price, just like always. Now let's introduce the products available for these three days. Or maybe this was available last week and it's going to be available this week as well. Let's find out. It's Peach Battle Suit. Wear it and feel weightless. As in, wait, is it shaped like a peach? Or is it colored like one? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add, oh, you figured it out, guys. You did. It's a wasabi jelly. We got too much in stock again. I, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why I'm promoting this as a limited item, but when it's clearly not, but I'll add it to your peach battle suit, all for the low price of only 29,800 yen. Smear that wasabi all over your peach battle suit. You can have a wasabi peach battle suit. It's gonna be spicy. We've got another fantastic product on sale today, red goldfish times 10. You know, if you're not into peaches, I've got goldfish for you. You can't wear this though, but maybe there's 10 of them. Maybe you could make some cosplay out of it. Enjoy your life with this cute fish. There's more than one, but I'm just gonna use this, okay? On top of this, I'll add breadcrumbs to your red goldfish for only 9,800 yen. You can feed them, you can plaster it all over them. I don't care what you do, just buy the damn product, okay? These products are so popular. We can only allow one order per person. Which would you like to purchase today? You can only buy one of the products offered. You currently have 341,000 yen. I think we're going for the peach battle suit, guys. You can never have enough wasabi jelly. Probably shouldn't even need to- you know what, one week I should just say no to Tanaka and see how he feels. You bought the Peach Battle Suit combo including Peach Battle Suit and Wasabi Jelly. He's doing the old uh, scarcity tactic. He's like, oh, you know, Wasabi Jelly, we're gonna run out of Wasabi Jelly, guys. You better get in on this deal. Oh, wait, shit, we've got extra. <laughs> wow, we've sold through our entire stock. Uh, uh, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. 
You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Shopping program is ended. You turn off the TV. We have to go see Asano. We're going to be back in our uh, winter uniform any second now. Or I should say any day now, not any second. We're not going to spontaneously switch. Uh, I did catch a big fish. Can I speak to this man now? Oh, it's you. How goes the fishing? Now he doesn't give a shit about my big fish. That's fine. I'll just talk to the other old persons hanging out at this uh, floodplain. My. So, Chan, I'm happy to see you. Uh, do you want to take a look at my big fish that I caught? Asano smiles gently. Do you feel your relationship with Asano is going to make him closer soon? Will you spend the day with Asano? Let's do it. Yes. I'd be happy to. Asano smiles gently. I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's something I'm missing. I know I there's been a couple of comments about it, and I just, it's, I can't remember it at this very moment. I, I should probably just pull it up at this point. I was lying to you. I'm not really death. Oh. Well, that's that's good to hear. I know I know you were speaking in metaphors, so it's fine. I did wish that he would die, and so he died for me. That's what I wanted to think. I thought maybe that would be proof that he still loved me. I didn't want to accept that he had died all by himself, not remembering me. Leaving me behind. I understand the feeling. <laughs> Do you have someone who you hold dear yourself? Yeah. Nanako. I mean, she hasn't died yet. Touching wood. That's, that doesn't happen. Hisano smiles gently. But the truth is... I don't have any special powers like that. I am not death. Just another boring human being. I wouldn't call you boring, Hisano. Not at all. You don't need special powers to be not boring. I mean, you know, I do have magical powers, so uh, that's coming from me, you know? Waiting for a miracle that never came. Before I knew it, I was wishing death on the one person I loved most in the world. I was lonely, forgotten. I mean, you know, you wished death upon him not in a malicious way or anything. More more so like mercy. I mean, you do think that you, you were being selfish and whatnot, wishing him to die because he didn't remember you, but I like to think of it that you wanted to end his suffering and his pain. Well, not just his, but yours as well. And loving, being loved, all that is what goes into making us human. Mm. Our emotions. Even if he did forget me in the end, the lives we spent together were proof of our dedication to each other. Exactly. It's not like at the end he just completely forgot everything and hated you. It wasn't voluntary. His love for me was never a lie. All those letters are proof. I just didn't get it. <laughs> but it's too late now, isn't it? You burned them, didn't you? No, it isn't. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I think I'll try living as the Hisano he loved once more. Hisano smiles gently. Live like uh, someone he could be proud of. Someone that he can still love. Don't tarnish his memory. The spark has returned to Hisano's eyes. It seems you were able to give Hisano some support. Good, I'm glad. I like being the crutch to people who need help. Rank 9 for the old lady. Power to create personas of the Death Arcana's gone. The man I loved is gone. I can't ignore that fact any longer. I need to face the truth head on. He is gone, but the memory of him lives on in your heart and in your mind. And as long as he's there... He's never truly gone. We're only well and truly gone when there's nobody left to remember us, I think. I want to see you again. You left Hasano and went home. You certainly will. Hasano, we've got one rank left. You're back. So you're home. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Good to see everyone's happy Sunday night. Let's go out. 
Right, so just read through the comments. What I need is a jewel beetle, but I thought I bought one of those uh, a while back with um, with Tanaka's amazing commodities. Clearly, I did not. I did see other bugs that I've caught, but I never got to use them. Maybe uh, uh, I needed to use it at a different fishing spot at the beach, perhaps, or maybe I need another rod. Uh, Chie's here. Um, but I did see Yukiko, so let's hang out with her. Won't make the same mistake as last time. Hey! I've got a Priestess Arcana persona. Oh, Sokka, and good evening. It's a fine night. I'm on my way back from making a delivery. It was a very sudden request. But I finished it faster than I expected to, so I was taking a short break. Yukiko seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her. I have Saki Mitama. Should you spend the night with Yukiko? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I wanted to chat with you too. Yukiko was smiling. Nice to see two notes. Hey. I mean, I shouldn't be screwing up this much so close to, you know, the end of the year, right? Um, in terms of missing out on social links and wasting time. That reminds me, Halloween is this month. It sure is. There's been some talk at the inn about doing something for it. Though we're hot springs in, so we can't do anything too extravagant. Uh, you can always put bugs in the, in the spa. <laughs> Maybe that's going a bit too far. Do you have any suggestions? Um, hand out candy. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I bet our guests with children would be delighted. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe the parents will be a bit miffed if their children are all hyperactive diving into the hot springs from the third floor of the inn, for instance. I should ask Teddy what kind of candy kids like. Uh, I don't know if he's qualified, but sure, why not? Yugo seems to be having fun. I'll take your suggestion into consideration. Thank you so much. When I tell them my ideas, they always get shot down. I don't understand why. Because, uh, I haven't given you the ideas, okay? We we saw your idea of a curry, and, well, you know, I can understand why they were shot down. I should have shot them down. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. You feel your relationship with Yukiko has grown stronger. Your relationship is going to grow stronger soon. Great. Love huh? to see it. Oh, I should be getting back. I didn't even notice how long we'd been talking. Oh, right here. I want you to have this. You received cream anpan from Yukiko. Well, it's better than a seaweed cracker. This is a gift we received. If you don't mind, I'd like to share it with you. Well, be careful on your way home. Good night. You saw Yukiko off to the bus stop and then went home. Third, and then we got rain coming up. All right, we're done talking about blood now. Hey, we still have a little time left. I guess I'll keep talking then. Speaking of blood, do you know what dragon's blood is? <laughs> it's nothing like a fantasy novel. Not actually the blood of a dragon. Dragon's blood is bright red raisin taken from a plant called Dracania. Dracania. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. It was valued in the old days as an almighty medication. And it actually has the ability to reduce inflammation. The people of old were such romantics. To call tree resin dragon's blood. <laughs> you listen to the lecture intently. <laughs> Your knowledge has increased. I'm just looking at my classmates. You know, there's that girl with the bun taking notes furiously with that red armband there. The guy in front of me sleeping. Yosuke, I don't know what he's up to. He's just staring at the back of my head. Chie's alright. Yukiko's probably absorbing this. Oh, the girl at the front's also taking notes. All the girls are taking notes. Good on them. Lunchtime. I'm expecting Yukiko and Yumi. No, actually, just Yukiko. Ah! Oh. Soken. If it's all right with you, would you walk me home? Oh, will you spend the day with Yukiko? I will decide later. I see. Don't worry, don't don't fret. Well, I'd be glad if you could come talk to me when you have time. What will you do after school? Mm, good question. Good question. Class has been for today. You're waiting for Nacho to recover, as always. Wow, this corridor is empty. Where did everybody go? Oh, I can see there's someone missing. Oh, I should say there's two people missing. I think I think Teddy got successfully ambushed. Yumi's there, but I don't think we're ready to rank up with her. 
Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's commit. I probably shouldn't start committing by breathing heavily into Yukiko's ear, but it's fine. Let's do it. Oh! Hi, Sokun. It seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. I have Saki Midama. Your relationship's gonna be on closer soon. Will you spend the afternoon with Yukiko? Huh. <sighs> let's do it. Yes! Okay. Yukiko looks happy. Tatsuhime Shrine. Y Yukiko brought you here saying she wanted to pay her respects. Are you gonna wish for something too? Uh, yeah, I often do wish something here. Uh, <laughs> it's a secret. Um, for... For everyone. I see. That's so like you. I know, right? I'm just a selfless guy. You can kill looks happy. I'll, I'll take it. I'm wishing for everyone's health. Ah, that's a, that's a good wish. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the inn, too. Well, I'm wishing for everyone's fortune. I hope everyone has good fortune going forward. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Holy, whoa, 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 oh God, okay. I thought I had to make the big move, but no, she's gone straight for it. Oh my God, guys, I'm sweating. What's going on? No wonder I'm still wearing my summer uniform. Things are getting hot. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. <laughs> I like how you just put that in like a little sandwich. Just like, I wish for everyone's health. I wish to be, become a woman worthy of you. And also wish for everyone to just have a big smile on their face. <laughs> so it's like I'm Let's doing a, a double take. Okay, sure. Why not? I, look how, I didn't even sell a reaction. I was just like, yeah, okay, sure. Let's pray. I've decided not to leave Inaba. Oh. Interesting. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. Uh, that's understandable, but I'm glad that you've uh, resolved to uh, become the inn's manager of your own will, and it was your own decision. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. No, I mean, it feels like that, right? When it feels like you're forced to do something, you're just like, well, obviously I don't want to do it. Or I want to be able to choose what I want to do, so I'm going to do the opposite of what my parents want. I'm just going to run away. That's never the case. It's still an option on the table. It's just you, you haven't worked out what you want to do yet. But no longer. I want to protect the family in. Think of those families like, you know, maybe doctors or, or lawyers where they want their children to, to carry on the tradition. You know, like, oh, everyone in our family is a doctor or everyone in our family is part of the police force or whatnot. And... You know, you might feel that influence, like, oh, I, I don't want to become a police officer, so you know what, I'm just going to discount the, the option completely. But no, you don't need to do that. You could just explore your other options, but don't be afraid to come back to it and say, you know what, it's fine. I'll follow in their footsteps. I'll become the next police officer or doctor in our family. After all, it's near to my heart. Good on you, Yukiko. I'm sure your parents will be happy to hear that as well. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take the credit. Because you were always by my side. Yukiko's smiling gently. Yukiko's determination makes her look more mature. Well, well, okay. Whew. Rank 9 with Yukiko. Are we gonna... I'm, I, I'm assuming so after she dropped that bomb in the, in the sandwich. The, the prayer sandwich. The Yukiko social... Uh, Link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Priestess Arcana has grown. Yuka's determination in battle has also been enhanced, so not only is she mature, she's more determined in battle as well. She can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Uh, um, I wanted to ask you this before. Uh-huh. Um. Here we go. Why? Why? Why are you always with me? Uh, well, ooh. Is it okay for me to ask? Of course. Um. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Maybe I'm preempting this because you know I haven't gotten to know Nato yet. But I've just spent so long with Yukiko, and you know she is cute. So. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's soldier on. Let's do this. I made my decision. I really like you. You. You like... You, Kiko. Me? 
Yes. <sighs> and I'm glad it's not raining right now because I might throw another embarrassing pickup line out there. Uh, um... I feel the same way, so... You know, ever since that day we first talked, stalking kind <laughs> There's no turning back. Your relationship with Yukiko has become intimate. Oh, Margaret, you're on, you know, <laughs> you're on standby now. I thought my heart was going to stop. A special lady is the achievement unlocked. Um, stay here with me. Just a little longer. Okay, just a little longer. Just a, just a little longer. You spent a long <laughs> just a little longer. You spent a long while with Yukiko. He walked her to the inn and went home. Right. Welcome back. Thank you. Look at me. I'm just so happy and smiley. Right? Look at that. That is the face of a player.